Hi, I'm Anne from madamso.com. Today we'll talk about the walking foot. This is an open toe walking foot. It's a presser foot that is well known among quilters and less among garment sewers. So today I'm focusing on how to use this foot in garment sewing. I'll show you how it works, uh, what it does, and for what projects is a real plus to own a presser foot like this. It's a rather big presser foot, somewhat intimidating at first, but after this video, you know why I like this little monster. With a walking foot, different layers of fabric will move evenly through the machine because of the upper feed dogs. Feed what? The feed dogs. The feed dogs of your machine are generally two short thin metal bars with diagonal teeth. They're placed in a sewing machine's needle plate below your presser foot. They march back and forth, pulling your fabric below the presser foot while you sew. That's it. But if you have different layers, you know very well that very often the upper layer doesn't move as fast as the bottom layer. Well, a walking foot also has feet dogs, and these little teeth, they pull the fabric from the top. The walking foot helps me with these five garment jobs. Difficult fabrics, matching designs on seams, and matching seam intersections. Mastering bulky seams, avoiding drag lines for hands, and adding embellishments and trimmings to a fabric. These are the results. The seam on my minky fabric isn't all wobbly and curled up. The stripes match. So does the seam intersection of my synthetic tent bag. You don't see any strange ripples on my strap. For the drag lines on hems, I used a very thin jersey and I did a little test. Hem 1 is with a normal presser foot and a straight stitch and no special needle or interfacing. Hem 2, same conditions as Hem 1, I just changed the foot to a walking foot. Already better, no? Hem 3, I added some fusible interfacing, changed to a jersey needle, changed the stitch to a little zigzag and used my regular presser foot again. The result is even worse than Hem 2, but better than Hem 1. And hem 4, fusible interfacing, jersey needle, a little zigzag, and my walking foot, and a good result. And my walking foot walked easily over all the gathers of this little blue skirt. If you want to know more about this foot, you can watch my next video. It explains all the details about this foot. I'll show you how you put it on your machine, and you will know if it will fit your machine. I've read about people that are using their walking foot like all the time. They never take it off their machine. I won't go that far. But whenever I see that my presser foot is pushing the top layer and isn't going smoothly over it, I am switching to my walking foot. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye!